So well hello my friend my name is Attila and this is Master Piece. So the piece that you are about to see is designed by an artist called Francesco Ardini and the original piece was made using ceramic. And I saw this piece a while ago and I, I was wondering since then can I recreate this art using wood and wood turning. So the piece that you are about to see is called Contemporary Art and it has a little bit of avant-garde nature to it and a little bit of dark tone to it. So Contemporary Art at the very best is <laughs> dividing the audience. So somebody will hate it and others will love it. So whatever you feel just tell me in the comment tell me whether you want me to make pieces like this more often or not at all because I do understand how this piece could actually disturb some people and I'm kind of afraid of putting on YouTube but so the piece is inspired by Francesco Ardini and I am going to create something similar to his work not exactly the same but very similar so let's just get to it and do not touch that unsubscribe button so I have some this is sported beach, but not the type of sported beach that I would be really concerned about painting. Anyway, this is going to be the main body of the vase. So turn it between centers first. Then I need to make a really secure tenant to mount it to the chuck. Just make it into a cylinder. This is my tenant right here, cannot go further than this line. This is going to be the bottom of the vase. And this point is the thickest point of the vase. So from here it's going to curve this way and from here it's going to curve this way. So it's a little bit off center this is going to be the thickest point. So I'm going to measure out the opening of the vase. So 
So now I just have to kind of connect this point with this point curved and just just connect it together seamlessly. This is about the shape, it's fairly simple but it doesn't have to be complicated because the main attraction on this vase will be the organic growth or the zombie dust, how I call it. Okay, let's start to hollow it out. Completed the main body. I could literally put some lacquer on it and just say I'm done. Here is your video, but that's not what you are here for. So I'm going to make it cool. So I have to make some lines where I am going to cut the walls. So this one goes off. I'm going to cut here and uh, and here. So this one is called the spiral cutter, and I will show you what it does. is prepared to put on the small spheres, the zombie dust. So I'm going to show you how I make one of these, 
but I literally have to make hundreds of these to be able to complete this piece and nobody wants me to see make hundreds of these on camera so I show you one and then I start to glue them on Now I'm just going to put these on and hope for the best. I have many of these as you can see here. So I will just try to line them up randomly and I will put smaller ones on top of them. I probably use some sawdust even to fill the gaps. Here is an update and these bubbles kind of imitating the, the growth on it. I call this one the zombie dust. a little bit of update so the white softened it a little bit the look but I knew that's what's going to happen this is my friend contemporary art so now I'm going to use the black and this is the part when I can mess it up really bad Because I certainly don't have experience with spray paints. This is 
kind of the look I'm going for and to soften it up a little bit I'm going to use just a hint of gold. Imagine this, you are on the street and you realize there was an outbreak. You rush home, open the door, start to call her name, no answer. You rush upstairs, open the bedroom door and you realize your favorite was became a zombie.